Selected. Brain donation. Red dot. Hi, this is Paul J. Adam, and I'm recording a short screencast demonstration video to show how to use VoiceOver in iOS 7 to do HTML accessibility testing. And I'm showing the W3C's before and after demonstration web page. It shows an inaccessible page and then an accessible page. Um, so it's great to show how VoiceOver works. Now um, with VoiceOver you can either tap an element to set focus to it or you can swipe your fingers to cycle through all the elements on the screen. So if I tap the image logo right here you'll hear what the alt attribute is. Red dot with a white letter C that symbolizes a moon crescent as well as the sun. This logo is followed by a Okay, so I did a two-finger tap to pause the speech, and you could hear that that alt attribute is too long and descriptive, and it does not include the text that's actually inside the image. Quick menu, four hyphens, greater than, pop-up button. Double tap to activate the picker. So this is a select input, but VoiceOver is only reading the currently selected option which is quick menu dash 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 arrow um, but there is no accessible name so this is in inaccessible currently link image so this is the sidebar navigation menu link image and I'm swiping through each element link image link image so these are image links um, but they have no alt attribute that matches the text inside the image Welcome to City Lights. Now, um, I set focus to this text that should be a heading. One other way you can get to headings is using the rotor, where you put two fingers on the screen and rotate your fingers like a rotary telephone. Words, lines, speech rate, containers, headings. So zero now, headings. Now that I've switched to headings, VoiceOver told me there are zero headings on the page. Once I switch to that item in the rotor, I can then swipe up or down to cycle through those elements. Heading not found. Before and after demonstration. Heading level 1. So th there's that one heading up at the top. Heading not found. But there are no other headings on this page. Welcome to City Lights. This should be a heading. Okay, let me um, check out the survey page. Survey. Visited. Survey. Web page loaded. Skip to inaccessible demo page. In page link. So uh, this has some form controls that we can test, and I can set focus to a radio button. Radio button unchecked. One of six. Now, Double tap to toggle setting. VoiceOver tells me there are six radio buttons, but I did not hear the label, so I don't know what options I'm checking. Radio button unchecked. Radio button none. Central po grand po radio button unchecked. Four of six. And you see that the reading order. Double tap to toggle setting. The reading order is kind of messed up here. It's going column by column, radio buttons, then the text labels, then the radio buttons, and the text labels, um, when it should announce each label as you focus on the radio button itself. Select a city, five hyphens, greater than, pop-up button. And with this select Double tap input, to activate the picker. With this select input, we should have heard the visible text label spoken, which city do you find is the greenest? That did not happen, though. Mister. Mister. Radio button. Unchecked. Miss it. Miss it. Misses. Radio button. Unchecked. Two of two. Now I think Double what's, tap to toggle setting. What's happening here is that voiceover can guess to um, try and guess what the label is for the radio button. And it is doing that correctly um, because of the way this was coded. However, in the top example, they use a table layout. So voiceover was not able to guess correctly what the label should be. Miss it. Text field. Double tap to edit. And here, VoiceOver can't guess these labels because they are actually below the input and they're not connected with a for and ID attribute. Text field. Text field. Email address. Retype email. So you see that the uh, reading order is incorrect as well. So let's look at the accessible versions of these two pages now. Page one of two. Home. Visited. Home. Web page loaded. Skip accessible home page. Visit. Skip to access city lights. Your access to the city image. So now the alt attribute for the logo image is correct. Matches the text. Explore sites by topic. 
Quick menu, pop up button. Now the quick menu has an accessible name that says explore sites by topic. Home, list start, news, link, tickets, link. We hear that um, this is a list of items now, and um, as we swipe through, we see that the background color changes um, to match the focus CSS style. Welcome to City Lights, heading level one. And we'll see that this is a correctly a heading now. Links, headings, eight headings. Now when I switch the headings in the rotor, it says there are eight headings on the page, and I can cycle through them with the down and up swipe. Heat wave link to temperatures. Man gets nine months in back. Lack of brain cinders with elsewhere on the web. City lights concert. City lights survey. Heading level two. So you see that now they've added proper headings to structure the page. Survey. Link. Survey. Web page loaded. Skip to accessible demo page. None. Radio button. Unchecked. One of six. Double tap to toggle setting. Now we'll see that um, the form is coded accessibly, and as we swipe through all the elements, you'll hear the labels. Central Park, Grant Park, Jurassic Park, South Park, Other, Great Greenest City. Which city? Cities of the world. Select a city from this list. Pop up button. Double tap to activate the picker. Name, text field. Email address, text field. Retype email, retype email, text field. Double tap to edit. So now um, all the radio buttons are connected to their labels and the text inputs are also connected to their labels. Okay, so that was just a quick demonstration on how to use VoiceOver on iOS 7 to do HTML accessibility testing and a little bit of how to switch to elements in the rotor like headings and cycle through the headings on the page. Thanks for watching.